Hello, New Haven Public Schools math family. Today I'm going to show you, I discovered this little um, free app on, on the web, and it's just so good that I have to share it with you. All right, so um, it's it's called, it's a geoboard, but it's really, really neat. I'm going to hide this. Um, okay. So let me um, begin by showing you where the website is. So I'm going to just copy here, open it in a different tab. It's called, it's produced by the mathlearningcenter.org. And if you go to apps.mathlearningcenter.org, front slash geoboard, front slash, it'll take you there. But I will also send you the link anyhow. So I'm going to open up a new tab here, and I'm going to paste it. And when you first go to the site, Oh, this is what you see. So I'm going to go through the, a, a few things that it allows you to do. Um, okay, so this is my Screencastify stuff. Um, but anyway, this allows you to change the... I wonder if I can move this up. I'm, I'm actually going to hide those tools. Okay, so when you want to start over, you click here. There's three boards that we can look at. This is the square board. This is the rectangular board. And this is the circular board. Okay, if you want... To fill it up, um, you can click on this right here. Um, if you want to make, if you make a shape, by the way, if you want to pull it to a third peg, you have to pull from the middle. But if you want to fill it in, you can click right here, and it fills it in for you. Okay, I've been having problems with pop-ups. There's a calculator, and there's a pen. A drawing tool and you can delete um, items okay so I'm gonna go over here and click start over and I'm also going to go to the square board now suppose we want to make a quadrilateral that is not a rectangle but has two pairs of parallel sides let's try to make that so we could pull any color we want and then we could pull down here. Actually, we'll make that a little shorter. We said we don't want it to be a parallelogram. I'm sorry, we don't want it to be a rectangle. Okay, now, one way to know if this is if the sides opposite sides are parallel is if opposite angles are congruent so in my chrome i posted this handy dandy little protractor up here that i'm going to click on and i'll move it out here so you can see it first okay you put the center of the protractor at the vertex of an angle i'll go down here and then we have these measuring things that you could put on the other um, on the angles Okay, when you do that, it tells you the measure. This says 45.5 degrees. Okay, now if, unfortunately, uh, you can't do it with this one. However, I'm, I'm going to measure this angle right here. This angle is 137, no, uh, 135. So, my smaller angle is 45. My larger angle is 135. Let's go over and measure this one. Okay. Ruh -ruh. It's not letting me. Here, let me close that out and start it up again when all else fails. Okay. Okay, so there's the center. I don't know why it's doing this all of a sudden. I was having such a great time. Okay, let me, this one I know I could do. Put this one down here. There we go. This one over here. And it says that this angle is also 135 degrees. So since these two angles are opposite, they're 135. If this is 45, then this has got to be 45. So we know that this is a parallelogram. And we've made it. Now, suppose we wanted to... Uh, okay, so I'm going to clear that out. This is so much fun. Yes. Okay. Suppose I want to make a hexagon with two exterior angles. I'm going to go to this one. And 
Okay, to make a hexagon, now it's, it's not going to be necessarily a regular hexagon, but it will be a hexagon. Hey, not bad. Okay, now I'm going to make two exterior angles. So let's take this one here. And I can continue this. And there's one exterior angle. And I could go up here. And I can make another exterior angle. Then we could use that protractor again to show that uh, the sum of the interior and the exterior angle is equal to 180 degrees. All right, um, let me get rid of this one. Let's see. Um, my undo is, oh no, and I'll get rid of this one. Here's, uh, okay, now here are we I am with the hexagon. I, suppose I want to figure out what the sum of the interior angles are of this hexagon. I can go make diagonals from one vertex. And here's a diagonal. And here's a diagonal. And here's a diagonal. So we see that we have created four triangles. One, two, three, four. Now we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And all the angles of the tri of all four triangles consume the six angles of the hexagon. So if we add up this 180 plus this 180 plus this 180 plus this 180, we will get the sum of the interior angles of this hexagon. So it's 180 times four. So we can go 180 times four equals. And then if we can move that over here and click done. Oh. Oh, I guess it's not going to do it for me, but of course we know that it's 720. I guess we have to do it ourselves. Okay, done. So that's how we know, that's how we can demonstrate that the sum of the interior angles is 720 degrees. Now, one fun thing that I like to do with students, I'm going to clear this out, is I might say to them, make a scalene triangle, then make an isosceles triangle, then make an equilateral triangle. Well, the scalene is, of course, easy. Three unequal sides. Okay, so that's obviously a scalene. The isosceles is easy also. Okay, but an equilateral is impossible. And if you have kids use a virtual ruler, we can show them that it's they can never do it on this pegboard. The only way to make an to make an equilateral triangle is on the round one. And that's a great way to fool your students and have fun with them. So up here we can go like this. And now we have a perfect equilateral triangle. So I think that this app has uses for elementary school students, middle school students, and high school students. There's so much we can do with it. I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I'm going to log off. So thank you for paying attention. Bye-bye. Thank you.